Have you ever been so inspired by someone that they encourage you to take a leap? This is a leap that not only affects you, but everyone around you. Hello, my name is John Bishop Jones II, and I'm a videographer and photographer, and I'm taking a leap today. Starting my first vlog. Let's go. Now, I want to make this as simple as possible, mainly because vlogging isn't a new thing for me. It's something I do every day, on a day to day. I film vlogs for the crazy middles, and I'm the camera guy, camera operator, and some other things as well, producer, whatever you may call it. It's, it's a broad title, but it's not nothing new to me. Now, me vlogging myself, speaking into a camera, that is something new, um, as well as me going home and editing this. Now, I'm gonna go home and edit, and it took me so many times to get this right. Okay, for my first vlog, I wanna accomplish a couple things. For my first vlog, I, I mainly want to, I wanna vlog, but I wanna see if it's gonna give me the quality that, uh, that, we, that we need in order to, and, and it's the same form factor as the, uh, as the, the, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This ain't gonna work. Man, this is hard. This is the one right here, this is the one. So, one long angry line laid uh, down. DJI, damn, I'm too lit. What, what is this camera? I feel like Tony Stark dad right now. Tony Stark dad right now, he was repeating himself over and over again. He, at this point he was lit, he was, drunk, he was like Are you waiting on me? So from all of us at Stark Industries, I'd like to personally show you my ass. What is this camera? It's an Osmo, actually. Okay, that's right. I've been trying to finish this vlog for like the last 20 minutes, sitting on this car right here mainly because I can't get this last scene done. I'm trying to explain that I'm, right now I'm using the, I'm using the Osmo. It's the Osmo action. I'm gonna mix in some drone footage from the Mavic Mini 2, including uh, some footage from the 360, Insta360, so some footage there so you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna include some iPhone footage. me so many times to get this right it just explains how difficult this is it's not something that's easy for you to be able to get your message out and speak uh, and get it right the first time it's very complicated if you're any if you're like the, anything like me um, my brain is moving and there's like so many things I want to say but I'm not able to get them all out articulately in the way I want to get it out sometimes I'll say, I'll say it and I'll, oh, I forgot that, or whatever it may be. And I don't want this to be a scripted thing. So, I want to give you a natural feel of me, who I am, the life in the, behind the scenes of a camera operator, John Bishop. Let's go. So, I've been living in Phoenix, Arizona for about 12 years now. Just reached our anniversary of 12 years. And I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, all of my family, St. Louis, Missouri. And this had to have been probably one of the biggest leaps I ever took because uh, me and my girlfriend at the time, she's not my wife, um, we decided to move out here. Not knowing anyone, not having jobs, or anything waiting for us here. We came here with five suitcases and a dream, and we made things happen. So fast forward, um, us moving, moving in together and doing all those great things out here in Phoenix, I decided that I wanted to quit my job and explore film and photography a little bit deeper. Because of the job I was at, they put a camera in my hand, they needed me to film projects around the site, um, and that kind of grew into something, something else, and I started to get calls uh, for filming jobs that you know, I, I just didn't expect weddings and quinceaneras, things of that nature. These were jobs that were paying more <laughs> than what I was making a week already for just one project. 
and it allowed me to have more time with my family. Now, don't get me wrong, it was very complicated in the beginning. Um, that leap of quitting my job. I was selling insurance for Progressive, a great job. Um, and I was working at home before COVID, before working at home was like the norm. This is the, something that everyone wanted. Now, I've been an independent videographer for over seven years, uh, filming multiple different projects from short films, uh, music videos, weddings, quinceaneras, birthday parties, you, you name it, pretty much everything. Uh, there was a point in time in my career where I began to get burnt out. And it's mainly because I, I was trying to be the Walmart of videography in my city. Uh, mainly because at the time there wasn't a, that many videographers and um, understanding you know, the value of what visuals bring was, was very new at the time, you know, about seven years ago. Um, and it, it enabled me to be consistent and to feed my family but I was overworking myself and I was undercharging because again, the value there wasn't really understood just yet. Uh, now, everyone understands the value of you know, social media uh, and promotioning and, and marketing with visuals. So, with that burnout, I think I learned a lot um, in regards to projects I, I wanna do, projects I'm passionate about, things that I'm not and that led me to where I am right now. So being, being an independent freelancer is, is very frustrating at times when it comes down to uh, clients and uh, recovering money and just paying your bills on a day-to-day, -day, especially I have a family. So that I had a lot to lose when it came to that. And again, me taking leaps, this wasn't the first leap for the vlog. I had to take a major leap when I quit my job with a new baby and a, and a wife, and, and um, I love my wife so much. It wouldn't be possible without her because she understood my vision and my talent, and she and ran with it, and look where we are today. So with, with all that being said, I had to get to a point where I found jobs I was passionate about. Once I found that passion job um, or that passion and client, that, that I felt like, man, I, this is the only person I want to work with. I want more people like this. That, that's all I wanted to do. So when it came down to filming and videography, you, you want to open yourself up to a broader spectrum. And I think I was, I was very limiting myself. And it took me to the point where I had to work with someone that understood their value to, for me to appreciate my value as well. And that brings me to, again, my, my boss, Shelly Wallace. The whole reason why I'm filming this vlog today. She inspired me to do uh, things that I didn't think I would do, uh, mainly because she showed me the possibilities, and, and it's endless. So with that being said, I would do anything for her to make sure that what she's doing is successful and productive, and so she doesn't, she's, she doesn't have to stress about anything and she can get it done. So I know she, she cares the same about me, and, it, and she has been doing it already. Changed my life in multiple different ways. So. With that being said, let's keep it going, man. And let's talk a little bit more about um, inside and outside influences and what kind of like helped me get to this point I am here today. So for me to make that big leap, it took me, it took me to, to, to know who I was and be confident in me. Um, and it's just because of the type of person I am. I don't need anyone else to tell me what I'm doing is right. Um, I don't need reassurance uh, from anyone else. Now, I take people's advice because it's always it's always needed, especially when when it's dealing with something that you don't know about and it's something that they're very familiar with. But I'm different than you. That's how I look at it. Uh, my circumstances are different. I don't expect me to go through that the same way you did because I'm me. I have to make a lot of decisions based off of how I feel, gut feeling, and it's mainly because I think if you ask someone advice on a major decision and it turned out to have been something amazing and you missed out on it. Now, if you would have made that decision on your own, I feel like handling that is different than putting that decision in someone else's hands and now 
it was because of them you didn't make the decision. Still, it was your fault, but because you listened to that person. And I feel like I can handle bad decisions better when I make them versus when I allow someone else to make them for me. So, there's a lot of things that I probably <laughs> wouldn't have done at all if I listened to these outside sources and forces, even for my loved ones, people that love me and really have great intentions. I, I knew in my, in my gut that this was something I wanted to do. And if it was something bad, I could deal with that because that was a decision I made. So I say all of that to say this, if you feel good about something, do it, do it. And, and, and again, take, listen to the people that are telling you advice, again, with a grain of salt, because these are your experiences in your life. At the end of the day, you're the only one that has to live with it. So do these things, because when you start listening to the other people, you, you, you doubt yourself and you, you either, it takes longer for the thing to happen or it doesn't happen at all. So I say do the thing that freaks out everybody else. Because no one would have been innovative if, you know, they listened to everybody else. DJI, you are amazing. The, the amazing cameras. The capability of this camera right here is astonishing. I'm, I'm super amazed right now. I mean, I, I mean, I shouldn't be because it's, it's possibly the same camera that's on uh, the drone that I have. Uh, it's amazing. This is amazing. Technically, I just wanted to test out a lot of the equipment that we already have um, to try to make something different compared to what we've already been vlogging. And I just wanted to show off what it was that I could do. Um, on top of that, it just inspired me to, to try to do something for myself as well. I'll, I'll put it the link in, in the bottom if I'm wrong. Um, is the only camera you really need. And I, again, I may be wrong. When I get to edit this footage, but looking at what I'm seeing right now on this phone, I, I really believe that this is something special. This is something amazing right here. So I think I might hop on a scooter, uh, jump around a little bit, get some, some of that footage. Uh, shout out to DJI. I really feel I'm, I, like I'm gonna enjoy vlogging. Um, it's therapeutic as well as I, I feel like I could teach someone something and kind of help them um, you know, further their life, either in, in business or um, just, just period as a filmmaker. In conclusion, if you have been considering vlogging anything, whatever it may be, any kind of camera, just vlogging, telling your story. Just do it. Don't pay attention to all the outside sources. I know they're valuable. These are people that, that we rely on and we only ask them because we, we trust their opinion. But when you're passionate about something, you just have to do it. You, you don't need any outside input. If it fails, it fails. Fail fast. Fail now. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, hit the bell, notification, if people still say that. Again, I'm new. I, I'm going to read the comments in the beginning. Y'all start acting kind of crazy. I'm, I'm deaf. I'm getting on y'all head. Don't think that I ain't about that life. <laughs> but on everything, I love what I do. I love y'all if y'all here watching. Man, I got plenty more, more to come. Plenty more to come. All right. Can I say that it's stable? It's the iPhone. Can I say that it's stable? Can I say that it's stable? It's, I'm walking right now. I'm walking. I could, should I run? Should I run? Look how stable this is. Get you an iPhone. What, what, what are you waiting for? Vlog, start. Tell your story. Somebody needs to hear it today.